Well, good morning, everybody. We are in Woodsborough Village. Woodsborough is the, I'm sure I've not perfected that particular pronunciation, but that's how they say it in Barnsley. So, we're here today. We're not going in this door. I've got to meet Church Warden right back, but I thought we're early. But I thought we could have a good look round it and I can tell you a little bit of history before we go in. <clears throat> this church has some of the most spectacular stained glass windows I've seen in Yonks. Now look at this one here. <clears throat> this is really interesting because we'll have a look on the other way around. But it's got like a centaur with a, a, a bow and arrow and it's got the three lions... And it's got something, Frederick, it's got something underneath it. But this church dates back to the 1200s. Well, sorry, no, 12th century. But the chancel dates back to Norman times. So just to put that into context, say if you're jumping onto Google and trying to work it out, that means that this church, parts of it, are as old as Westminster Abbey in, in London. That's how spectacular this place is. There's, I don't know if, I don't know what that is. Is that the old chancel? I don't know. The church warden will be able to tell me. I think this might be him now. So, let me just put my camera down until I've said hello. See that lovely fellow there, everybody, right? So, I put phone down, I put camera down, because I didn't want to put camera in someone's face. You know what I'm like? And uh, I said, I said, hey, you, Martin, you stopped to do tracks. He went, no. <coughs> I said, all right. I'm meeting a fella called Martin. Anyway, it, it's not that funny, actually, but it was funny just then. I want to find out about this fella. I'm sure I've filmed this before. Um, I don't think I researched it, though. So we're going to research it for this video. Now, <laughs> this gravestone, I mean... My hand is up there. This gravestone must be about six foot tall. And God knows how long, how, how far it goes into the ground. Well, this is Joseph Bowman, late of Wisborough Bridge, colliery manager, who met with a sudden death by an explosion of fire damp in Pilly Ironstone Pit. He was born September 16th, 1847. Oh no, excuse me, he died. September 16th, 1847. I don't know why, but I just had it in my head that it wouldn't be that early. Also, John, his son who died, 1823. Oh, it was only three. Mary and his daughter who died, 13 years and 37. And Elizabeth, Joseph and Mary Ann, the widow. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a little bit of olive growing. Look, in here... In this graveyard which we're gonna have a good look around the graveyard as well we'll just make it into one big vid um, look at it, everybody and I look at to live in such a beautiful area I mean I don't live in the village I live in Wordsborough's like a hall but it's still beautiful wow look at this grave everyone this is old we'll have a close look at it but this is John Meller of Swaith he died April 6, 1829. He was 48. Also, one of his wife. Have you heard them birds? I don't think you can make it out, but on that steeple there, it's got a load of uh, gargoyles around it. And that one that we're looking at here, I need to come with my other camera. I might fly back up later with it and get some close ups for you. But that looks like a sheep. I think I will come back. More stained glass here. I don't want to ruin the surprise until we get in, so we're not going to read it, but that's Jesus there. This is where I'm meeting Martin, I think. Let's have another walk down while we wait for him. <coughs> look how warm this is. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, hello, is that you, Martin? I'm Sarah, how are Right, everybody, we're in. So, we've got this tablet up here, and this was erected by Anne Radcliffe Elmhurst, 
widow of William Elmhurst, a squire, late of Sle Seathwaite, in the memory of their children. Crikey. And then you've got, this is all to the Elmhurst family, this it looks like. William Elmhurst, he died in 1821. And Rachel, 1857. Let's have a look up here at this window. And this is... Mine eyes have seen my sal thy salvation, the glory of God and her loving memory of mother, father. So this is all Elmhurst in the corner. Who yeah, was it? That, field, that, that was their family pew. Oh, was it this where they used yeah. to sit? Yeah, there's all seats around. There's seats out there, aren't there? Oh, blimey. Oh, there's all chunky. No, yeah, you're there's using it for storage now. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Are the family still in the area? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. They don't, have the, they don't have the luxury of this booth anymore, though. No, they don't, they don't come these days. Oh, what a shame. Um, That's the family and all them plaques there. Is it? So they will have paid for all these beautiful yeah. glass windows, wouldn't they? Yeah. Stained glass windows. There's a tomb belonging to them under there somewhere. Is there? Probably one under here. Yeah. So they buried them in the floor, like in yeah. Westminster. I yeah, see... Uh, after, uh, what date is it? 1865, they didn't go buried in the churches and they've got a family plot up in the graveyard. Have they? Yeah. I might have even seen area. that. Yeah, I might have seen that. Right, lovely. Can I just have a look outside? And then yeah. I definitely need to go over there. Yeah. <laughs> right, everybody, I haven't said, look at this beautiful door. How old do you reckon this door is? I think it's a few hundred. Oh no, <laughs> it's beautiful though, isn't it? Look at that. I love things like that, you know, yeah. made by hand and that big old lock there. Right, let's have a look over here, everybody. Oh yeah, you've got things in floor. Oh my God. Here lies the body of Margaret, the wife of Richard Saltonstaff of Hound... Hill, Yum and daughter Rich Elfran of Prognor, who died 1719, everybody. Wow. So there's, there's graves in the floor. Let's just go onto these pews here. We're going to come here for a service, everybody. And this window. In ever grateful memory of George and Rebecca Robinson and their children Frank and Martin and May, AD 1939, this window was erected by the three surviving daughters Martha Ann, Sarah and Rebecca Guest Robin. And we've got over here, we've got one of these plaques. Oh my God, we've got a tomb there, everybody. Jane Hayes Carwood, later Barnes, but formerly of Rob Ride in this township. Died on the 10th day of July, 1838. 80 years old, everybody. And here, Eliz Eliza Hannah Silverwood, born 6 June 16th, 1843, died 1861. We've also got Eliza in there, Anne Mary and Joseph Orgill Carr. January 1845 to 1877. Right, there's so much to see and I'm going to save the best till last. You won't believe what I've got to show you, everybody. Oh, look at this. This is unbelievable. Look how old this is. Oh. Wow, everybody, look. Look at that beautiful organ. In memory of John Hatfield. Oops. In memory of John Hatfield Gent, later of Rotherham, formerly of Old Hall, died July, 8, July 5th, 1801. He was 85 years. These things have been here for ages. And just look at these archways. And uh, I think in that window over there, everyone, you've got the depiction of Adam and Eve. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. Have a work. 
Does the organ work? Yeah. It does. Do you play it? No, I don't. Oh, you do. <laughs> now, this is really interesting, everybody. Andrew Folds, Esquire of Mount Vernon, who died 1837, who was 51. In testimony of deep and affectionate regard, this tablet was erected by his beloved wife and children. In the same vault are interred the mortal remains of William's eldest son of the above, Andrew Folds, who died Feb 19th, 1839. He was 23. And then this window. Descendants. Can't go up. I don't want to walk up there. But um, it says... I can't read it, everybody. I'm so sorry. And then you've got like a little... I'll go up there. God, this place is amazing, everyone. Right, let's get round here because I want to show you something absolutely fabulous. We haven't finished yet, but... <coughs> it's in these vents here for the heating. This, unfortunately, I can't read it. It's too dark. Yeah, I just can't see that. Oh, we've got some more graves, look. Oh, it's this way. This is the grave of Jacob Marrow and his wife, Anna. Unfortunately, it's covered with carpet, so you can't see when they died. But I suspect probably, oh, look at this. SC 1837. So there'd be bodies all underneath here. Right, let me show you. Let me show you the star of the show. So this is the Rockley area. So the Rockleys were, well, look at this. Look at this, everybody. Look at this, everyone. So this is uh, Roger Rockley, who was 33 when he died. That, that, that's, that's Rockley. Coat of arms. That's his wife, which is Mount Mountainy. And that's the joint one. His wife is what, sorry? Mountainy. 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 Were they another big family in Barnsley? Yeah. Well, no, though, so I'm not sure in our way, though, so. What, what, do you know, do you know much about how he passed and stuff and what, what he did in life? Well, he was a knight. Was he it? Was well, I know he was a sir, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, that, that was when it meant that they were knights. That's why he's like that. <clears throat> so did he die in battle then, do you think? I'm not sure where it, well, I'm not sure what happened to him. It's absolutely fantastic. I was saying, um, you only really see things like this, or I've only really seen things like this, York, York Cathedral and Westminster Abbey, you know, yeah. the, the, the beautiful things. Absolutely stunning. Right, I'm nearly done, Martin. I just wanted to have a look at this window here, if that's all right, yeah. and that tablet up there. Yeah. That's got a ship above it. Who was that then? England. It's what? England. You know, she's on, she's on top of the sideboard at the pub. Oh, right. Board at the pub, it's on top that shit. Oh, is it? It's on number 15 as well at the top of the old old village. Did they? Yeah. This is all in Latin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've got no chance with that then. It's absolutely fabulous. Do you have, do you have a large amount of people coming to worship then, on average? Oh, that one, yes, Jeremiah Dixon, who was yeah, appointed well, lecturer. Eight, seventeen. Good grief. Leaving behind him a widow, seven sons, two daughters. Seven sons? When I work from thy likeness, I shall be satisfied with... Well, if you look at that one, that's his wife. Which time she died, it was five sons. Ah, oh, what a shame. People, I mean, some, what I've noticed, because uh, I'm always in graveyards and looking at history and stuff, and you either get people who lived to a really strong, really good, strong age, you can yeah, see the strong the ages, children. and then you can see, yeah. I mean, that one. 
Lucy was five weeks, Mary four days, and Aww. 57 weeks, Jane. 15. 15 year old, all four daughters of Thomas Edmund. Oh, it's a shame, eh? Right before, and it says it on me. To Isn't God's so glory. Cool, oh, yes, yeah, Samuel Thomas Cooper, the donor to this. Wow, to this window, born 1831, died 1871. So the Cooper family. 1860s. I know they've got a big plot there, and that fella who owned Swerth, you know, when, when then the colliery disaster it killed him after. He's buried up there and all. Oh, look at this, everyone. Richard Alexander Howe. Say again. The ones from Darley made. Yeah. Are they really? Oh, I'm going. To, well, we're looking for that. The seventy. Oh right. So it's just there, is it? Well, everybody. How old is this font, Martin? How old is the font? Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Look at that, everybody. That one's even older. Oh, look at that one. How old's that then, do you think? Well, you obviously, you know. Saxon. It's amazing. Got the book we gave it. Victory's Garden, that's the early 60s. Good grief. I'll tell you what, you don't need to go to a, a museum, do you, really, to, to find all this history. In fact, you're better off in churches because it's, it's all there, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Well, listen, I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Look, there's another one there. Look, Newman and Sarah Turner of yeah. Rockley Hall, which is where, That's where we're on about, yeah. Roger used to live, yeah. So what were you saying then? Sorry, Ma it Martin. It says in the chancel, well, them two plaques, when it's inside the altar. Wow. Oh, right, yeah, they've they moved them. In this chancel and deposited in the... That's it, they've moved them, haven't they? They've been moved, yeah. Uh, Why did they do that, then, do you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I've seen a photo of them on. Look at that. And just before we finish, what, what these little decorations in the roof, are they, do they mean anything on the uh, timbers? I'm not sure what they are. One of them that's, looks... That's, well, it's red rose of oh, isn't it? Well... <laughs> Gonna say, <laughs> but then you've got to the one. Do you have um? Do you have a page where people can donate money to the church if they wish to, Martin? Yeah. Where can they donate then? Can you do it through the website? Yeah. Right. So I'll, I'll make sure that people know because. Um, you know, if anyone wants to help to preserve this building, it def you know it's a beautiful building, and it's healthy, isn't it, Martin? It's yeah. it's strong, but like anything, they all need upkeep. What's through? What's through there? The belfry. The belfry. Yeah, <clears throat> Can I have a look? Oh wow! Look at that, everybody. Amazing. Do you ever ring the... You must ring the... Well, everybody. What do you think of that? What a treat. Before we go... <clears throat> we're going to have a look at a few of these graves. I wanted to show you as well. This is Mary Fennick. So nice of uh, Martin to let us have a look at that, isn't it? So, so nice. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go round. Now, it's told me what this structure was round here. Because you'd look at it and you'd think that it was... Well, you'd think maybe it's part of like an old part of the building, but not so. Um, the... Oh... I didn't see that because it were behind it were behind those coats and dresses. We'll have a look in a minute. Well, I think it's Fred. Oh, I'll tell you what it says. 
So this window that we didn't get to see, it's Frederick Stock, he was the vicar. He died in 1926. And that glass up there is absolutely beautiful, red with those three manitos in. Stunning. Right, let's get round here. So, yeah, what Martin's just told me is this building round here was actually the interior of the church. And many years ago, they pulled down... Oops. Many years ago, they pulled... They lowered the roof. And this was in the side. So, they put it out here, basically. I don't know the hell they moved it out here. They must have had to relay it. You can't have moved all of that. There's just no way. So... I wanted to have a look at these graves here because I think these are going to be the no notable graves. <clears throat> Maybe to some of the people that we've seen inside. Again, for some strange reason, I've not put a full shoe on. I've got my sandals on. So here we go, Coopers. So this won't mean anything to anyone who lives outside of Barnsley. But the Coopers, um, very rich family and they put monuments up in Barnsley they've got Cooper Art Gallery in Barnsley but this is William Cooper of Mount Vernon he died in 1857 he was 65 years Mount Vernon um, is up top of Wordsborough uh, Cooper Thomas jo sorry George Thomas Man Cooper he died in 1857 we've got William Alfred Cooper he died in 1855. What is a shame, though, is that this is uh, so overgrown. But what can you do? You can't get in. It's all walled off. <sighs> well, everybody, I was going to do a full-on tour. Look at that. In the memory of Esther, the wife of John Starr's S T O W R S who died March the seventh, eighteen twenty seven. She was seventy one. My God, she was born in the mid seventeen hundreds. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do a full on tour of the graveyard now, and I'll tell you why because I'm pretty sure I've already done it. <laughs> so I don't want to redo something that I've already done. And when I say I'm pretty sure, I've done a couple of videos on this. Um, what's the bench? Yeah, I've done a couple of videos on this, a um, couple of lives, but I've definitely done a graveyard. I'm, I'll check. If I haven't, I'll definitely come back and do it if you want to see it. So what do you think, everybody? A church from the 12th century, which I think is the 1300s, is it? Yeah, it's all the 1100s. Oh, I'll put a correction in. I can't think. My brain's not working this morning. Uh, and also from Normans. And did you see? Did you see? Um the um the uh <coughs> font from saxon times think about that from saxon times that is absolutely amazing and this is the village very quiet oh he said go and have a look at pub didn't he we'll have a look over at pub everyone come on let's go over So this village is very quaint. I think you need massive amounts of money to live up here. <coughs> this is a church from the side, everyone. Uh, but yeah, you definitely need a lot of money to live here. And that's interesting. You know what Martin was saying then about... About the... Uh, the Edmonds. Well, this is the Edmonds Arms, which is named after the family then, obviously, with the ship above. And let's have a look at the pub. I think they live above here. This is a beautiful pub. Look how gorgeous it is. Open for food. 12 till 2.30. 4.30 to 8pm, Tuesday to Saturday quiz night. I'm going to come for my tea here one night. It's 
not too far from where I live. Oh, there's a bus going through there. Anyway, that's us for today. Off to Oldham tomorrow, everybody. And uh, we'll see what we can find there. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to donate to the Church St Mary's of Wursborough, Wursborough, W-O-R-O-S-B-O-R-U-G-H, please go on to the website. There's a donate button there. I'll certainly be doing that. And thanks for watching.